this first chart, I included it because it says nothing. That's the point. Like, if it didn't say SPX on the top, it doesn't have to say worth charting on the bottom. It was just the lines that you see. And you thought it was a sneaker company or a software company or a home builder. There's not much about this setup that would make you say, geez, I got I to gotta buy that. Conversely, to be fair, there's not much about this setup that would make you say, at least make me say, I got to sell that. It's sort of a moment of equilibrium. It's finding its footing. It's finding its way. But let's take it back a bit further and put some lines in. So the question in this is it. Are we up against the downtrend line, which you annotated earlier and, and discussed? We are. Now, does it have to fail here? No. Has it come a long way? Yes. Is it at a level where the fundamentals, if and as they are not robust will cause it to fail here? Yes. Let's look at a longer term and put it all in perspective. This is the entire channel in which the S&P has been ascending since the financial crisis low. You see the peak in 07. You see the trough. You see the COVID low. And we blew out through the top, which you can see there in late 2021. And at that moment, the multiples are almost as high as the dot-com peak at price to sales price to earnings for the S&P. And now we're just sitting here at the midpoint, kind of walking along the line. I mean, the best case scenario to my eye is that we continue to sort of limp along in a general upward trajectory. But I don't see anything, anything about this chart which would suggest great move to the upside. And the third scenario, of course, is that it just ultimately decays further and gets into the lower band. That's my thinking.